O positive, the universal lifeline. O positive is humanity's emergency supply line. It's carried by roughly four out of every 10 people, making it the single most common blood type worldwide. But what makes it extraordinary isn't just its prevalence, it's its reach. Because O positive red blood cells lack A and B antigens, but carry the RH factor, they can be safely transfused into any RH positive patient, whether their type is A, B, AB, or O. In hospitals, this makes O positive donors the backbone of emergency care. The American Red Cross and WHO note that O positive is often the first blood used in trauma wards, natural disasters, and conflict zones. But evolution had a hand in its story long before medicine did. According to studies from the NIH and Nature Medicine, type O blood confers a survival advantage against Plasmodium falciparum, the parasite responsible for severe malaria. Without A and B antigens, O cells resist the clumping that allows malaria to spread more aggressively. A key reason O blood remains so common in regions historically ravaged by the disease. However, this advantage comes with trade-offs. Research from the Lancet Infectious Diseases shows that the exposed H antigen in type O makes carriers more vulnerable to severe cholera and norovirus infections. And since O types have lower levels of von Willebrand factor, a key protein in clot formation, they tend to bleed more easily but are less likely to suffer fatal clots. Evolution, it seems, always keeps the scales balanced. The A positive. The adaptive strategist. Roughly 3 in 10 people belong to the A positive group. Their red blood cells carry both A antigens and the Rh factor, giving them wide transfusion compatibility from A or O positive donors. A crucial advantage in medicine, but the story of type A runs deeper. Genetic and archaeological studies suggest that A blood became more common as humans transitioned from hunting to agriculture. Crowded settlements brought new bacterial threats, and A antigens enhanced immune responses against them. Research from Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health supports this, showing that type A individuals often exhibit stronger immune signaling against bacterial toxins. Yet, nature's gifts come with cost. Large-scale studies, including those published in Circulation and the British Medical Journal, reveal that A types may have higher risks of clotting disorders and certain cardiovascular diseases. The same immune sensitivity that once saved ancient farmers from infection can sometimes overreact in modern life. B positive, the metabolic nomad, B-positive blood is rarer, found in about 1 in 10 people. But evolution painted a fascinating map for it. Concentrated in South Asia, Central Asia, and parts of the Middle East, B-blood seems to trace ancient nomadic roots where migration and mixed diets shaped survival. Medically, B-positive individuals can receive blood from B or O donors, positive or negative, making them moderately flexible. But evolution's fingerprint lies in metabolism. Research published in Science Direct and Nature Metabolism suggests that type B carriers may process fats and carbohydrates differently due to variations in gut microbiota composition, an adaptation that might once have aided survival in migratory high-protein environments. Interestingly, epidemiological studies show that type B antigens influence susceptibility to certain bacterial infections differently than other groups, offering protection against some while heightening vulnerability to others. In the grand design of evolution, type B represents balance. Not abundance, not scarcity, but resilience shaped by movement. AB positive, the universal receiver. Less than 5% of the world carries AB positive blood. The rarest of the major positive types, yet the most flexible in medicine. AB positive individuals can receive red cells from any donor. A, B, A, B, or O, positive or negative. This makes them the universal recipients the ones who can accept help from everyone. But what makes AB truly fascinating is its youth. Genetic research in Nature Genetics indicates that AB blood appeared only a few thousand years ago, likely from the mixing of A and B populations as civilizations expanded and intermarried. In a sense, AB is evolution's newest experiment, the fusion of two ancient immune systems into one. However, the abundance of both A and B antigens has biological costs. Studies from Johns Hopkins Medicine show that AB types have a higher baseline risk of clotting and certain vascular disorders compared to O types. Yet from a transfusion standpoint, AB positive carriers hold the most secure compatibility network, a biological privilege that few possess. O negative, the universal donor. O negative blood is medicine's safety net, the one type that can be given to anyone anywhere regardless of their own blood type. 
It's carried by only about 7% of the population, but its importance is unmatched. In emergency rooms, air ambulances, and disaster zones, O negative blood is the universal donor, the first and often only line of defense before testing can be done. The reason lies in its simplicity. O negative blood cells lack all major antigens, A, B, and RHD, eliminating the risk of most immune reactions. But that evolutionary simplicity also makes it fragile. O carriers, according to WHO and NIH, are more vulnerable to certain gut infections due to the exposed H antigen. And RH negative mothers require special care during pregnancy to prevent hemolytic disease in newborns. Despite these challenges, O negative donors save millions of lives each year. In a world of genetic diversity, their blood is the one that unites all others. A negative, the protective minimalist. A negative is rare, present in less than 2% of humanity. It shares the A antigen but lacks the RH factor, which makes transfusions more restrictive. Only A negative or O negative donors are compatible. Evolutionarily, the A antigen's immune advantages remain, but the RHD absence adds complexity. Before modern medicine, RH incompatibility between mothers and fetuses was a serious threat to survival. Today, preventive treatment has largely erased that risk, but the genetic story remains etched in history. Research from the Mayo Clinic highlights that type A's immune sensitivity offers advantages against bacterial infections but also predisposes to inflammation under stress. In essence, a negative blood types embody the duality of human adaptation, strong immunity balanced with biological fragility. B negative, the genetic anomaly. Only about 1% of people carry B negative blood, making it one of the rarest on Earth. Its red cells display the B antigen but lack the RHD factor, drastically narrowing donor compatibility. Genetically, B negative likely spread through ancient migrations in Asia and the Middle East, where selective pressures maintained it in small, isolated groups. Studies in the Lancet hematology suggest that the combination of the B antigen and RH absence affects immune tolerance and inflammatory responses in subtle but measurable ways. For modern medicine, B negative donors are rare treasures. Every donation is critical because patients with this blood type have few alternatives. It's a reminder that rarity doesn't diminish value. It amplifies it. AB negative, the rarest of them all. Less than half a percent of humanity carries AB negative blood, the rarest major type on the planet. Its red cells show both A and B antigens, but no A or H factor, creating a combination so uncommon that, in some countries, entire national blood programs rely on only a few thousand donors to meet demand. Clinically, AB negative plasma is the universal plasma donor, meaning it can be given to patients of any blood type, a property prized by trauma centers worldwide. Evolutionarily, AB negative stands as a genetic outlier, the rarest fusion of all antigenic traits. Studies from Cell and Nature Reviews Genetics describe it as a recombinant legacy formed when A and B genes merged on a RH negative genetic background, a statistical improbability that persists as living proof of human diversity. Carrying AB negative blood is like holding a rare biological passport, a reminder that even the smallest percentage can hold immense value in the story of human survival. Our blood types are living records of human evolution, shaped by survival, diet, and disease. So comment below with your country and blood group, and let's see how humanity's diversity flows through all of us.